So how do you move a steam engine down city streets without any rail at all? The folks in Nashville can tell you. This is Railroad Showcase. Thank you so much to all of our donors and sponsors. We could not have done this without you. Uh, this is a fantastic milestone for the history of this locomotive and the history of Nashville. We are continuing to raise money for the second round of fundraising to revive 576 to operation. Uh, we received a $200,000 grant in October, uh, which is a great first step towards that $1.5 million goal. Um, so if you've ever come to the park, ever looked at 576 and dreamed of what it would be like to ride behind her, please make a contribution. Or if you want to come to Nashville, ride behind her in the future, make a contribution. We need, we need your help. Uh, this is a great project, a fantastic locomotive. We have everything going for us right now. A big thank you to our moving company, Mamut, or Mamut, excuse me, um, and also all of our sponsors, especially CSX, RJ Corman, everybody. Uh, we really appreciate all your help and assistance to get the project this far. So the Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis number 576 moved from Centennial Park to the Nashville and Western Railroad tracks in Nashville, Tennessee this last week. The move was a great success. Yeah, so they, they pretty much moved along Charlotte Avenue and 12th Avenue, and it was about two miles uh, total journey from start to finish. The tender trucks were sent over first on a separate truck. The tender was jacked up and put on a heavy trailer. So the move was handled by Mamut, the, the transportation company. Exactly. And I was curious about that company. So I did a little bit of searching and they've got a lot of interesting information on their website. We all come from the world of big, a world in which big objects are moved by even bigger machines packing tremendous power. Mammut, the biggest thing we move is time. Mammut is a Dutch company, but it has offices on every single continent except Antarctica. But they've done work on Antarctica. Right, so they are truly a, a, a global company. I, I really appreciated on the company's website for the, the video that they had, uh, that they talk about that the biggest thing that they move isn't weight, it's time. And that is, you know, that's a, that's a company promotional thing. But it is true, you know, the, the work that they do, it isn't about the weight or the size, it's about moving those large objects in a timely and safe manner. Overall... The move went perfectly, uh, and the crowds were enthusiastic. They loved the spectacle of it. There was a lot of people out there who were really excited to see this engine move just because, it's one, it's a cool thing to see. You don't see that going down Main Street every day. But there's also a lot of people, the rail fans, that were excited to see this on its way to its new home where it will get new life. We're here at the unloading site. Uh, today is Monday, January 14th. Had a great day yesterday. Thank you to everyone who came out for the historic move across town. It went great. Unfortunately, because of the weather, we had to leave a bit earlier than expected. Uh, so thank you to everyone who adjusted your timeline yesterday morning to come out and watch number 576 take that first journey to restoration. Um, so last night, we got the locomotive uh, stage over the rail line. We removed the trailer and uh, ran just, we ran out of darkness just around the time of getting it back on the rails. So they just butted up for the, over the night. Um, so they're getting it back on the rails this morning. Once the engine's back on the rails, they'll shift it into place and then they'll work on the tender uh, this afternoon, probably in more, into uh, tomorrow. Great day for Nashville steam, great day for the history of trains here in Nashville. So thank you very much. The extended version of this report can be found in episode three of Railroad Showcase. Go to rrshowcase.com and become a Spike member for the full episode. 
Please remember to click like, share, and subscribe, and find us on Facebook at the discussion group Railroad Showcase RPO. Thanks for watching. And remember, keep your hand on the throttle and your eye on the rail.